hi adriana families welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you the best and the easiest way to cut your t-shirt around neck professionally with the use of small size charts so let's get started please pay full attention to the video in order not to miss any steps in the pattern drafting so i'm going to first draw a straight line like this so after that I'm going to apply my length measurement which is 27 so I'm going to mark 27 plus 1 inches for the hemming allowance also here I'm going to mark 27 plus 1 inches plus 1 inch for the hemming allowance so I will use ruler to draw a straight line like this So I'm going to mark 3 inches inward like this and after marking the 3 inches inward I will mark 0.5 downward and I will try to make a bit curve for the backdrop. So the run neck secret is that the clothes neck must be bigger than the actual neck measurement by 2 inches. For instance, for instance this pattern neck measurement is 16 inches. And I'm going to make the cloth neck 18 inches so that if I attach 16 inch, 16 inches stretching neck band to it, it will draw the 18 inches into 16 inches, which is the actual neck measurement. Because if the neck band and the cloth neck is the same measurement, it will never look perfect and accurate after the finishing. So I will mark 4 inches here. So after marking the 4 inches, if I draw the curve of the 4 inches, 2 inches will automatically added to it, which means the 4 inches will turn to 6 inches plus the 3 inches I marked inward earlier. That will make 9 inches and 9 plus 9, it will give me 18 inches. So the neck of the cloth will be 18 inches. So if I want to join, if I want to attach the neck band, I will make the neck band to be 16 inches. So that if I if I attach the 16 inches neck band into the 18 inches neck, it will draw back the 18 inches into 16 inches and it will look great. So the next part is that I'm going to cut, I'm going to mark my shoulder length, which is 17. So I'm going to mark 8.5. So now I'm going to determine my shoulder slope by dividing my chest by 24 which gives me 1.5. So after marking it I will join I will link it up to the uh, to the uh, to the neck tips. The next thing to do is to mark my armhole depth. So I'm going to determine my armhole depth by dividing my chest by 4 minus 1 inches, which is 36 divided by 4. It will give me 9 inches minus 1. It will equivalent to 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches downward like this. So after marking the 8 inches like this, I'm going to draw a straight line which means this is my upper chest measurement so I'm going to mark 8.5 inches shoulder measurement here and I will link it up to the shoulder tips so after linking up uh, linking it up together I will find the center of the armhole depth so I'm going to divide 8 inches by 2 which is 4 inches and I will go inward by 1 inches. So after that I'm going to apply my chest measurement. I'm going to divide my chest by 4 which gives me 9 and I will mark 9 here. I also mark 9 here. 
so after that i will draw a straight line to link it together so after linking it up together i'm going to use my french curve to draw my armhole depth so as you pay full attention how i place my french curve so this is how it will looks like after drawing my armhole depth so i'm i'm going to add sewing allowance to it like this So now I'm going to cut my sleeve. I'll first draw a straight line like this. So after that, I will mark 4 inches. That is for my cap height, sleeve cap height. I will also mark 4 inches here. And I will draw a straight line like this. So after that, I'm going to apply 8 inches. That is my shoulder depth measurement. So 8 inches. And I will draw a straight line like this. So after drawing the straight uh, slant line, I will measure it, which is nine. I will divide it by two inches. That will give me 4.5. And from that 4.5, I'm going to use my French cuff to make the cuff of the sleeve, just like this, and it will looks perfect. So I'm going to apply my sleeve measurement which is 8.5 So I make it from the straight line I first draw So I mark 8.5 here and also mark 8.5 here So I will draw a straight line to link it together So after that I'm going to add extra 1 inches for the hemming allowance Because I want it to be folding sleeve So the sleeves opening, I want it to be 6.5 and with that I'm going to use my French curve to draw a, a slight curve on the sleeve to make it look amazing. So here now, what the next thing to do is to confirm my armhole depth and my sleeves cuff. So I'm going to mark my armhole, which equivalent to 9.5, and I'm going to mark my sleeves also. So here it's also equivalent to 9.5. Definitely, the sleeves looks accurate. So now. After cutting, after using the pattern to cut my fabric, this is what it will look like. And you know this, I cut it on foot. After cutting it, I'm going to I'm going to split the cloth into two, and I will detach the front from the back. And after doing that, I'm going to cut out my round neck on the pattern. So far, I've already cut the back drop, the back side. So I will remove one from that cut back 
and I use it to cut my front. So this is the front part and also the second one is the back part like this. This is the back part and this is the front path. 